let's look at the Medit SmartX workflow with the scan ladder to provide the ultimate in full arch accuracy. So in this case, we've got a Medit i900 and we've got these scan ladders placed centrally focused on this model. The first thing we need to do in the software is to be able to go to the stage management and you can see now we have this all on X workflow button that we'll be able to click and that automatically sets us up ready to be able to provide the all on X workflow using the smart X protocol. If we click OK, it'll guide us through what this workflow is and how we'll be able to scan through it. We'll click next and then we're going to choose scan ladder as our choice here to confirm and be able to pick up these scan bodies. Once we start scanning, you'll see that it's going to pre-register just from those centrally focused points, all of the shapes without having to scan the cylinders. It's going to scan the scan bodies and then provide the perfect shape of that cylinder to be able to match in the lab accurately later down the line. So let's double click and let's get started. So you can see here, I've just started on one of those shapes. It's already registered two of them. As I slowly move across, that other shape is going to pick up. There we go. And that is all picked up by this last one. There we go. And that's all of those done. So in an all of 18 seconds, that's pretty much all we need to be able to pick up. If we go back to this and we pick up a little bit more of the soft tissue, that's also going to give us the ability to data match later on. So we can go through and add a little bit more of the soft tissue. But quite honestly, that is only needed as much as you can provide soft tissue to be able to match at this next stage. Because we don't want to confuse the scanner too much. We want to keep all of those frames and the algorithm so that it just matches based on those few centrally positioned data matches. And then we go forward to the edentulous maxilla stage. So as we go through, you'll see that this is now going to copy that data over to the next stage and remove automatically all of those scan bodies. Let's remove this and fast forward once I've removed all of these scan bodies. So now we've removed all of those scan bodies, we're ready with the edential sarge to start scanning. If we get going, we're going to start that data capture and you can see that it automatically picks up what's remaining of the soft tissue for us to be able to fill in those blanks. And remember, we don't need too much. We need just the amount of soft tissue that the bridge is going to cover. Once we've picked up that data, we can maybe expand it a little bit by going back over and picking up a little bit more if that's possible. And that will give us all the data we need of the soft tissue. If we take it this to the next stage now, we're going to click the opposing mandible. So the opposing arch. We're going to take our scan with. And remember, the same principles of scanning an arch always apply. We want to start off somewhere easily recognizable, preferably a molar, so that as we go back to, if we lose track, we can always go back to that point which is easily recognizable by the scanner algorithm. Then we go around following that arch and pick up back, back and around, and there we go. We have a complete scan. So the next stage, we need to go to the pre-op stage of the maxilla, where we're going to add on the bridge onto the multi-unit. So if we screw these on, we're just going to hold this on with a couple of screws. Okay, so this bridge now in place, we're going to start the data capture and you can see that it automatically again registers the position of this bridge with the soft tissue that's remaining. So we're going to go back and the same again principles apply, we're going to follow the arch, go onto the platelet surface and around and then onto the buccal surface. Remember, as we're passing over the incisal edge, the same principles apply that we do with dentate arches, is to make sure that that captures a little bit of both sides of that so that we can accurately tie together the mesh of the buccal and also the palatal parts of the scan so that there's no crossing over of the data. 
So we've now got all three pieces of data for that full arch at the top, all captured, all aligned with the correct position. The next stage we need to do is to capture the occlusion. So we're going to click on the byte. And you can see now at the bottom, it gives us the option to use either the occlusal target of the edentulous maxilla, but more preferably that pre-op that we've now got of the provisional in place. So we're going to double click, start to scan that, and hey presto, that's locked it in place. We'll click on the other side. And there we go. And that's it. That's given us all of the different data sets, all combined with the correct OVD and the correct occlusion, ready to pass on to the lab. The last stage is just to click complete, and it'll optimize the occlusion and give us that data ready to pass on to the lab. Providing that there's no errors and provided you check your data once you've captured it to make sure there's no double images and that you've only captured those central frames to be able to give you the virtual positions of the match library, then once you've passed that onto the lab, they should be able to provide you with a really accurate and passive prosthesis that fits onto your multi-units so that it makes your workflow really streamlined and easy.